Changing grips between shots is one of the most important things to be able to do. If you use just one grip for everything, you're really putting a ceiling on how good you can get, how much you can improve. So here's a good drill where you work on changing your grip before every shot. My partner is gonna toss me a forehand and then immediately toss me a backhand. Now the key to this drill is that you use the same paddle angle for both sides. So I, in the first example, I'm gonna use an open paddle angle and then when I go to my backhand, I also have to find that open paddle angle. So I'm changing my grip. So the ball comes to my forehand, and then I'm going to switch to my backhand side, change my grip by letting it spin in my fingertips, and then hit a backhand. So again, notice the face of my paddle was pointed up to the sky, so it's open. Same thing, ball comes back to my forehand. I change my grip by spinning my paddle, and then I do a backhand, same thing, spinning my grip. Okay, left-handed example, same concept. Forehand's gonna be on this side, just spinning it in my fingertips to get the angle that I want, rather than using my wrist to open the paddle. So ball comes to my forehand, I spin the paddle. Then it comes to my backhand, I spin the paddle the other way. Spinning my paddle and spinning my paddle. Now the reason you need to have the same paddle angle is if you don't have the same paddle angle between sides, you can actually use the same grip in a lot of situations. So if I hit an open face forehand with this grip, paddle angle a little bit open, and then I translate that over to a backhand, I'm actually in an okay grip to hit a flat backhand. So because we wanna work on grip changes, we wanna make sure the paddle angle is the same between our forehand and backhand. So we did a round with my partner tossing to me. Now we'll do a round where my partner is hitting. So it's more of a live rally, but I'm the one focused on the grip changes. So my partner is gonna try to alternate between hitting this side, hitting this side, so that I can work on changing my grip in between shots. Again, letting your fingertips nice and relaxed so the paddle can spin to the desired angle, then spinning it back the other way when it comes to the opposite side. So I open my paddle on my forehand, I change my grip when that ball comes to my backhand. I change my grip again for my forehand. Again, focused on the angle of the paddle, and then you don't really have to think about the hand position as long as your hand is nice and relaxed on the grip. I'll do a round of right-handed. So here comes my right-handed forehand. Changing my grip right-handed backhand. Another variation of this is hitting with a neutral paddle on both sides. So if I wanted to hit a flat or a topspin shot instead of an open face slice shot, it could look like this. The ball comes to my forehand. I'm hitting with more of a flat paddle angle, so more parallel to the net. But then it comes to my backhand, I need to turn my hand backwards on the grip. The amount of grip change might depend on whether I'm doing a one-handed backhand or a two-handed backhand as well, but I do need to make at least some degree of change to get the paddle angle neutral with a comfortable wrist position. So a ball comes to my backhand, then the ball comes back to my forehand, I need to change my grip back again. So once again, spinning the paddle in my hand to make those grip changes between the forehand and the backhand. I could do a two-handed backhand as well, but still changing grips in between sides. So same thing, version number two, we're having more of a neutral face, we're hitting flatter or with top spin, but still changing grips in between sides. Grip change. Grip change. Right-handed. And this last round, I'll try right-handed. So once I recognize which side the ball's coming to, I'm immediately changing my grip if necessary as I start my preparation. 
So notice that right as I start to prepare, the first thing I'll do is change my grip as that paddle starts going back. 